hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele i am so excited to be with you all today and i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well as you can see our homemade lonchala or momoni is ready this was highly requested by one of our beautiful sweet team members and i knew i had to work on it because she requested it so many times i'm like maybe she's pregnant so she needs it so i used two different types of fish and i'm gonna let you know which one is my favorite and as you can see i'm making some quick muchlu flour these Quick stews are usually the best tasting stews. Yes, y'all. So sit back, relax. Let's get right into the recipe. So here I have some pompano fish. I have rock salt and iodized salt. It doesn't really matter. You can use any type of salt that you prefer. So we're just going to go ahead and add our salts to the fish because we will be curing the fish and unlike kobe we're not going to keep this under the sun we're going to put it in a container and cover it tightly for a week without opening it up okay now if doing this outside you want to take care that no flies come around and sit on it because it may cause it to develop maggots and we do not want that so once i've added the salt we're going to go ahead and transfer it into a airtight container and i'm using pompano fish because at the time that was the only fish that i had at home so i had to make use of it <laughs> at this point i'm just adding some of the rock salt to the bottom of my container because in my head i didn't want the fish to sit directly in the container i don't know why i did that but it really doesn't matter and then i transferred the fish in there and i covered it up but about two weeks later i checked and it was still kind of tough so i ended up adding water to it it had the smell that i wanted but it was very hard and i'm like no lonchala shouldn't be hard so i called my auntie and my auntie was like add some water to it and cover it up and allow it to sit for another week or so so i did just that i didn't record that part but you will see it in the end so it's ready we'll set it aside on this day i bought some bronzini fish and i decided to cure that as well so i'm just adding enough salt to it and i'm going to cover it up and leave it to do its thing and then i'll show you what everything looks like in a week or two Two weeks later, I decided to bring it out to open it outside because I made a mistake of checking it inside one day and hubby nearly killed me. So I was like, uh-uh, bring it outside, let it air out, and then you can take it inside and prep it and put it away. So yeah, we're just going to bring it outside to see what it looks like. And it's been exactly a month, one month for the pompano and two weeks for the bronzini fish okay yeah depending on the temperature in your environment it will cure faster this is in the middle of winter so it seems to be taking forever this is all the water that the salt extracted out of the fish i did not add this at all the pompano on the other hand i added it
at this point i'm just going to cut it into the pieces that i'll be using it in we don't use the entire fish in our recipes no it will be too much you just need a little piece of it and that flavor takes over everything so say you're making soup you can just drop a little piece into the soup and it takes the flavor to the next level now if making stew you use it at the very beginning you drop it in the oil and it should dissolve beautifully continental food madam food madam international food cartoon who showed you how to make pizza after cutting i'm just going to put it in ziploc bags and keep it in my freezer because i no longer need to continue the curing process and i can just take a piece whenever i need it and use it in my recipes so let's do the dissolving test this is the pompano fish and as you can see it's a little bit on the tough side but it's still worked okay it is beginning to dissolve although it took a little while so it is not bad at all i like it and here i have my bronzini and that one seemed to dissolve much faster but once this two was ready it both just disappeared all you can taste is the flavor and i made this quick stew egg stew that hubby and i enjoyed with some boiled green plantains mm, mm, mm. it was absolutely delicious and he loved it so yeah if you've never tried our famous lunchala or momoni this is your chance to do just that thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team y'all know i love you until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini ochemi sweet mahabotu bye y'all